Welcome to The Daily Me, the place for insights into life and business. Hello there and welcome back to The Daily Me Show. It's Rick Nusky. I'm your host. I'm also the host of the My Future Business Show where we get you in front of your best audience and keep you there. So make sure you go and check that out at myfuturebusiness.com. Now, anybody who has been listening to The Daily Me for any length of time would know that I am currently writing my second book. My first was called Welcome to the Show 1.0, The Complete Podcasting System for Your Business. And that's getting a lot of uh, great feedback and it's been very helpful for those who have read it. So that's always very satisfying. And that was part of which the reason in which I decided to write the second book and I'm nearing completion. Now, one of the things that I had to make the decision about given that the focus of the My Future Business Show was helping you get in front of your best audience and stay there, was who would be best to write the foreword to the book? And I can tell you, I'm not short on having amazing guests who I can select from, and each one has um, all the reasons why I would choose them. But there was one particular individual that, uh, you know, we, I guess, had a bit of a connection there, and we spoke about um, the book and what was happening. And this happened after I offered him a free copy of Welcome to the Show. And he got back to me and he said, look, I really, really enjoyed that book. But what about a book for guests? Um, what, if, what have you got for guests in specific terms? And I said, I don't, I don't have a book for guests. But one thing led to another, led to another and over time. And I, <laughs> on this, I promised myself I wouldn't take more than two and a half years to write this book. And it's coming up to nearly 12 months now. It's just amazing. Uh, the busier the show gets and the more things that I'm doing outside of the book and the, and the podcast, the less time you seem to have. <laughs> you know, being a father and, you know, um, spending time with my family, they're all important things. And trying to get that, I guess you like, I guess you'd call it balance. There's really no such thing as balance. But getting that time to sort of equally portion your life out to the different aspects that are important to you kind of sometimes put, puts the book to the side, but I get away from the point. Now, this particular indiv individual, which I shall not name names at the moment, was graceful and um, enough to offer me his words of wisdom, share a bit of background about his career and his life path and open up a little bit. And in that, sh and in that foreword that I've read the draft of it, I was really, really moved and also really impacted by the the calibre of the individual that I had selected to write the foreword for the book. I did not know at the time how significant a, a, a gentleman uh, this person was, how much um, impact he had made on various people's lives in, in terms of their financial lives. He has done it all. He has made some significant impacts to uh, people's wealth and prosperity and allowing them to uh, live um, lives that are comfortable for them. But all that being said, the takeaway for this call today is to have marketing assets. If it's not a book, make it a guide. If you don't want to spend lots of time doing it, um, you know, like I have, then make a guide. At least have lead magnets, like cheat sheets, things like that so that people can connect with you, set them up on an email system so that you can continue to talk to them. You know, this is this is marketing 101, um, but I cannot believe how much um, this book and the, the one prior have changed the conversation, have changed the narrative for my future business. I When I'm talking to somebody about my past and, and what's uh, of interest to me, what's important to me, where do you think I send them? I send them straight to the books because there's elements of me in there. There's elements of the business in there. There's elements of process in there. And it's just, I can't, I can't sort of say to you enough how important it is to have that, I guess, that marketing asset. It's kind of like a, a bio for you. And if you do what I do, and I went that one step further, and I actually created an audio version of that first book, and I intend to do the same uh, for the second. So the, the world's your oyster. And once you put it out there and it's on Audible, it's on Amazon, people can buy it in 
you know, the hard book format, or they can get it as a digital download, or they can get it in an audio format, you are giving yourself the opportunity to uh, create touch points with your ideal prospects in different formats, therefore on different platforms, and therefore expanding your reach to potential uh, customers, clients, and patients, depending on what sort of business that you run. So I'm hoping that's been helpful for you today. So if you want to join us in the Podcasting Central group to learn more about these types of strategies and things that you can do with podcasting, come over come over to uh, Facebook and type in Podcasting Central. No barriers to entry. Love to have you in there. And importantly, I'd love if you could drop over to the uh, our YouTube channel, uh, type in My Future Business, and you'll see a, uh, a circle with handshake and it says the My Future Business Show will get you in front of your best audience and keep you there. Like and subscribe to the channel. I would really, really appreciate that. Thank you so very much. But uh, up until tomorrow, I'll speak to you then.